Hi, I'm Sherry Stump. Thank you for joining me today. I'm reading from the devotional book, God's Amazing Grace by Ellen White. Today's reading is July 9, found on page 198. The title of today's devotion is Illuminates the Scriptures. In 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 10, it says, But God hath revealed them unto us by His Spirit, for the Spirit searches all things, yea, the deep things of God. God has been pleased to communicate His truth to the world by human agencies, and He Himself by His Holy Spirit, qualified men and enabled them to do this work. He guided the mind in the selection of what to speak and what to write. The treasure was entrusted to earthen vessels, yet it is nonetheless from heaven. The testimony is conveyed through the imperfect expression of human language, yet it is the testimony of God, and the obedient, believing child of God beholds in it the glory of a divine power full of grace and truth. In His Word, God has committed to men the knowledge necessary for salvation. The Holy Scriptures are to be accepted as an authoritative, infallible revelation of His will. They are the standard of character, the revealer of doctrines, and the test of experience. Yet the fact that God has revealed His will to men through His Word has not rendered needless the continued presence and guidance of the Holy Spirit. On the contrary, the Spirit was promised by our Savior to open the Word to His servants to illuminate and apply its teachings. Those who dig beneath the surface discover the hidden gems of truth. The Holy Spirit is present with the earnest searcher. Its illumination shines upon the Word, stamping the truth upon the mind with a new, fresh importance. The searcher is filled with a sense of peace and joy never before felt. The preciousness of truth is realized as never before. A new heavenly light shines upon the Word, illuminating it as though every letter were tinged with gold. God Himself has spoken to the mind and heart, making the Word spirit and life. The Holy Spirit is implanting the grace of Christ in the heart of many a noble seeker after truth, quickening his sympathies contrary to his nature, contrary to his former education. The light which lighteth every man that cometh into the world, John 1, 9, is shining in his soul, and this light, if heeded, will guide his feet to the kingdom of God. Thank you for being with me today. Please join me tomorrow when we'll read about the teacher of truth. And may God bless you abundantly above all you can ask or think. <laughs>